Welcome to another episode of The Cook-Up, brought to you with the kind compliments of CGA Caribbean. I am your host, Sunny Bling, and today it's our Father's Day edition. That's right, and you know, we're going to be cooking with our Constance Estate Coconut Infused Oils. Today, in studio, we have with us Chef Mike. Is it? Welcome to the show, Chef. This is the cook-up. This is where we bubble and we throw down some of the finest dishes you can find around the world and in the Caribbean using our very own Constance Estate products and, of course, our margarine. How long have you been doing what you've been doing? I've been professionally cooking over 10 years. Mm. Yeah. Well, you're a father yourself, just like me. It's Father's Day edition, so we're going to treat ourselves differently here today. I understand we're going to be doing a breakfast item. Tell us a little bit about that. Well, today we are going to do a dish called shashuka. Shashuka! Shashuka. Tell us about some of the ingredients that are going to be used in making this shashuka. Right. So, we're going to use some canned tomatoes instead of fresh. Right. It's, a, it's a little easier to deal with. Um, the can also, they pick the tomatoes at its peak of freshness. So, it wouldn't, have, it wouldn't be as sour as fresh ones. I never knew that. Yeah. Oh, that's amazing. And what else we have here? We also have our aromatics, the onion, garlic. Um, you use some paprika, chili powder, and of course the CGA infused oils. Correct. Amazing. Our content state, coconut infused oils. And I see we have some uh, fresh mushrooms here as well too. Yes. Um, we'll be adding a little more body to, uh, as far as day. Mm -hmm. We have some protein in it mixed with some eggs, but we also want you know, a hearty breakfast Correct. first thing in the morning. Mm -hmm. So we're going to add some mushrooms to that uh, relative with it. Are you a real breakfast type person? Or like, what's, what's your dish of the day? I know we're doing a breakfast item today, so like Father's Day, what's the item you look forward to the most? Breakfast, lunch, dinner? Breakfast, of course. First thing you get up in the morning. I'm hungry. Yeah. yeah. Ready to roll. All right, so let's roll. How do we get started here? Breakfast time. Come on, let's go, let's go. First of all, you put the pan on medium heat. We start with the garlic infused CJ oil. It's all natural, so it's good for everybody. Nice. All right? Let's go. Right, so you can smell it already. Hitting mm -hmm. the pan, it's smelling our garlic. Ah, yeah, boy. Serious, right? eh? So you're going to start with the onions. Can you pass me the onions, please. All right, onions. And this wooden spoon. Mm -hmm. So you make sure we have scrape off the pot. Wooden spoon. You saute on a low heat. Mm -hmm. A medium onion for about, let's say, about three minutes. Right. Right? Make sure it gets translucent and probably just a little char. Yeah. Right? Yeah. While you are taking in all of these nice goodies here at this time, I want to remind you guys to check us out online, TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, CGA Caribbean. You can also send us an email, follow us online, www.cgacaribbean.com. How are we looking on the onions? We coming to right. come? Okay. So uh, as you see here, have a little char, little translucent. Right, so we're going to add the garlic now. Nice. About three cloves should be fine for the amount you're doing. Okay. And I know straight from the onions and the garlic, I know we're going to move over soon. We're going to go. Or mushrooms. Some now. mushrooms. Can sorry. you tell me a little bit about these mushrooms? I'm not a big mushroom fan, to be quite mm -hmm. honest. Um, like if there's a difference, uh, like are these hallucinogenic? No. You're going to use some baby portobello mushrooms. Yeah. And um, what I did there, I just slice them up. Mm -hmm. Right? So this is going to add a little more body to the... Um, dish. Can you eat those things like raw, like just like how it is? Like, yes, yeah, you could. Yeah, I've, I've, never, I've never done it. I've never done it. I've never done it. One small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. I'm gonna have my first raw mushroom ever. Okay, this is the cook up, and this is how we do it. You're, you're doing it with me, or just me alone? You go ahead. Not bad, not bad. Tastes like dirt. You know, has a nice earthy feel to it. Um, but it's a cook-up, this is what we do. Okay. So it's about four mushrooms. Yeah. Right, medium size. Right, as you can see, we cut the mushrooms a little bit thick so that we don't melt into the dish. Right, of course, at this point in time, we should season those mushrooms, as you said. Yeah. So, salt, please, sir. Nice, salt. Talk to me. Black pepper. Black pepper. Black pepper. Taste of chili powder. And paprika. Salt. 
So remember, this is the cook of our Father's Day edition. And make sure and follow, like, share, tell your friends, tell your family. CGA Caribbean, www.cgacaribbean.com online or TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube to get some more. Like the videos, share with your friends and family, learn something new today. Where we go from here? Right from here, we're going to add the tomatoes. Mm -hmm. Right, we're using the... You go with the paste or we're going to go with the canned tomatoes? No, we'll use the paste a little later to right. thicken the sauce. Okay, so here we go. Right, so two cans of 14.5 ounces. Right. Could I, could I like pour the other one? Could I like pour sure, one? Sure, sure. Could I like, you know what I mean? And you know, the other one's style, you know what I'm saying? Like that. Right, so we're going to season now. Some salt. Nice. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Same spices you used before. Yeah. It's gonna right. enhance in the flavors now. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be like explosion in your mouth with flavor now, boys. Yes, sir. Yeah. Mm -hmm. right. And in addition to this, you're gonna yeah. add some jira. Yeah. Or ground cumin. Oh yes, sir. Right. So that'll be. Here we go. This is what we're talking about. I like the way how everything is kind of coming together. I like the colors and mm -hmm. as I said, I don't know, people at home when they look at cooking programs, they don't get the, 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 the smell boy. They don't, they don't get the aroma, they don't understand what's filling the room right now and this is so much. You know what I mean? So I really, really love the kitchen. Something about cooking for yourself and adding those extra flavors, especially us as Caribbean people, we overcook stuff and we over season stuff. Okay, you would chop down an entire tree with a seasoning just to put in like, you know, like a chicken breast or something. And we, we do a lot of that and I really enjoy that as Caribbean people what we bring to the table. Chef, this thing smells so amazing. Which leads me to my question here though. What, do you, what would you say is your herb of choice when it comes to the kitchen? Well, I'm not too fond of the herbs too much. Um, my favorite spice though is tannies. Oh, wow. Wow, yeah. I, 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 I personally, for me, I would have to go with like a rosemary boy. That's right, but I love that so much. Now, where are we here now? See, we kind of simmering. What's right. the next step? So, it's simmering out right now. We're going to cover it and let it cook a bit. And then we'll come back and taste for so. It's come like a sara tomato choker kind of dish vibe. Yeah, it's like an alternative to tomato choker. Yeah. So, other ways people do it, they blend it. So, you have a smoother consistency, but I like the more rustic mm, chop okay, kind of chunkiness. Like, yeah, chunkiness. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, what are we going to over here now? Talk to me. Right, well, that it is for salt. Taste for salt. Let's go. Mmm. Mmm. Well seasoned, mm -hmm. yeah, you know when you get the kind of lock jaw. Mm. Uh, to acid. Uh, it's a mato, uh, rich. Right. Mm. So, bring us <laughs> a little hack, right? Mm. So normally, people will add sugar. Right. The sweetening dish. But I don't really like that sweetening part. So we're gonna try some baking soda. And what it does, it raises the, pH, it raises the pH level in the dish. Okay. So right now, it might be on the scale, the scale of three to four, mm -hmm. and when we put just a pinch, and we have about seven or eight. All right, but you add your So pinch. let me try it, eh? Let me rinse my let spoon come in, right? Right, so just a pinch. Right, so that little pinch, you see the little reaction there, the little fizz. Yeah. Right? Spoon ready, you know? Right, so try again. Mm-hmm. Absolutely different. Absolutely different. You want to raise the pH level of your dish? A little bit of baking soda. Forget that sugar thing. Keep it more natural. That's what we're talking about. So now we're going to add some tomato paste for a little more of a red color. And we're going to thicken it up a bit, right? Nice. And just two teaspoons will be fine. So as soon as it gets a little thick, you add the eggs. Yeah. And right? also, we literally, we're going to like put the eggs inside of inside. this directly in this one dish right meat, yeah. because the, the because the, the rim of a slice you think at the side now i'm going to do a different technique you would have seen people crack from the top and ah but i'm actually going to use the blade part of the, the blade part of the, yeah, the blade of the dish to get the right slice and then get it to go into in one do you think i have it you have it yeah i have it i love your confidence i am not that confident at this time but i believe i can do it all right so are we ready 
Give me like a three, two, one now. Three, two, one. Crash Uka! Ah, boy. Talk to me nice. Come closer with the egg. Come closer with the egg. Come closer with the egg. You two come, 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 come. Right? So as you see, you got a little thicker with the tomato paste. Right. Looks a little more bright and red. Mm -hmm. So what you're going to do is make some wells for the egg. <gasps> so and you're going to put the egg in a spot in the so sauce. It'll be like, it'll be a, so it's poached in tomato sauce. Ooh. Right. So here we lower the heat a bit. Okay. This is a first. This is a first. Right. So you make the well. So you're making a well. Right. So we're actually going to set the egg in a certain spot mm -hmm. in this dish. Go when ahead. do I pour? You tell me when to pour. Go ahead. Go ahead and let, let me see. Let me see. Ready? Let's do it. Wow. So crack the other one. Yeah. Crack the other one. Crack the other one. Right. Now, ideally, what we would want it with the, the yolk, yolk together. Pour, right? <laughs> yeah. 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 So yeah. let's try it out for the last one. With the last one, I'm going to do it the traditional way. We you literally tap from the top. Hmm. Hope I did well there. Wow! Ooh, 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 ooh. Wow! That one is perfect, chef. Right. So you're just gonna add a little salt and black pepper on top of the eggs itself. So, folks, this is the cook-up. What we're making here today is called shashuka, and you should really check this dish out. It's fantastic. I'm sure it's good for everyone. There's no kind of meat inside of there. Unless you're really not into eggs, then that's going to be something different. But, folks, this is an amazing breakfast-type item. You can twist it up a bit. We're going to do some garlic bread. You can afford to put the naan. You can do the sada. It's like a little twist on a tomato choker and sada, but it's really different, really lovely. Remember, you can check out all our episodes online at www.cgacaribbean.com or Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and of course on YouTube, all right? My name is Sonny Bling, and today we have Chef Mike on the inside. Right, so you're gonna cover it now? Uh-huh. So about, so how you like eggs? Well done. Well done? Well done. I like them a little bit runny. A little bit runny. Right? So we're going to leave it for about four minutes. Yeah. Right? You'll make the garlic bread to go with it by the time. Mm -hmm. And do you test it for done this? All right, let's do it. So chef, the shashuka is simmering right now. We have our bread, we have our margarine and all those spices and herbs and garlic and all the excitement here. Time for some garlic bread. Correct. Let's do it. Let's do it. Right? So we're going to use some of our CGA marigold. Right. Margarine. Some fresh garlic. I mix it with shadow benny and parsley. Right. Right, so you can cut. How much, how much are you looking for? Try a quarter, no? Try, try a quarter. Try a quarter. In case you never use the margarine before or the CGA products, you know, you may be that one person under the sun. At the back of the packaging, as you can see, mm. there are clearly some markings that will let you know in terms of tablespoon sizes, as well as just like you just said, cut a quarter. There's mm -hmm. actually an indicator that says cut a quarter right here. Right. So, you know, I mean, you always know exactly how much to use. In case you're brand new to the, to the, to the matrix now, you know, so you open like this and then you put it back down where the marker, you actually see where the marking is. Boom, you cut there and then, right. Perfect every time. Here we go, straight in here. Straight in there. Straight in there, let's do it. Mm -mm -mm. All right, what's next? I right, so you can sprinkle some of the parsley and shadow belly mix there. All right, now when you say sprinkle some, you know me, I do it internationally. Mm -hmm. All right, um, if you don't make mess, you're not doing your best, you know what I mean? If it doesn't run off, you see, to get additional flavor, like salt, behind those guys, it's something about the, the, the touch of the elbow, boy. It has to bounce off the elbow. If it don't bounce off the elbow, it come like, you know what I mean? You get the extra flavor of the crustiness of your elbow. You're supposed to get majority in the bowl, though. No, don't worry, man. You know, my counter is clean. You just kind of pick it up after when no one's looking. But my point is that it must bounce off your elbow. If it doesn't, the, 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 you see that, 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 you see? You see that? You see that? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, that extra kick. As you kick, they talk about when you get the kick in the dish. We just throw the rest like this. Oh. That's fine, no? Right, so now we're going to use some of the CGA infused garlic oil. Garlic oil, boy. We wouldn't chili garlic be bread. <laughs> Why not? Oh, no, no, I'm just kidding. I'm, Why not? I'm, I'm actually no, 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 no. That's a very good suggestion. Why not? Oh, wow. My, Why not? Wow, wow, wow. Since so, you saw bait and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're going we're gonna to chili and garlic. Infuse our bread today. Wow, mm -hmm. this is going to be different. Never did this one before. Okay. Oh, right, looking good. You think you think I'll yeah, man. in the kitchen? I could, I could make a good sous chef. Very good. Let's see this on the camera right here. And remember, folks, some more recipes just like what we're doing here right now. www.cgacaribbean.com. 
and you can check us out online at CGA Caribbean on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube as well too, all right? And uh, make sure and pick up the whole line of Constant Estate products. Hello! One time, we use no butter, and I use no nothing. Just... Oh, 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 back of the spoon coating going on. Okay, okay. I see that, I see that. Oh, oh, I'm learning something new with you here today, but you know I've never um, learned the whole back of the spoon thing. You're not using a toaster. You're not using a tower, you're using a pan. Nice. Right? Preheated the pan. Preheated the pan. All right, go. All right, let's go. So, do I bring this with me? Yeah. All right, let's go. Let's go. Oh boy, that shashuka looks so nice. I wish I could show you guys, but maybe a little later. So what we gonna do? Let's literally place it into the pan, into like the face pan. down or margarine side down. Margarine side down. Oh wow. Okay. 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 So it's butter one side or butter two sides. What's your preference? Well, uh, usually it's kind of like a one side thing with me, but I'm riding with you here right now, so you tell me what we're doing today. Let's try two sides. Let's try two sides after huh, that. Let's go. And I'm a professional, so excuse me. Mm -hmm. Don't Sorry. Get injured right here. And what I really, really love about all of this is the smell as it comes together, you know what I mean? The margarine and the shadow benny and the little garlic, and even getting a little kick of the chili inside of here as well, too. So this is amazing. I'm loving this right away. Love, 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 love. Right, so let's check it out. Oh boy, oh, this yeah. thing looks lovely, boy. So now we're gonna test it to see the doneness, right? And there's the egg itself we're talking about. Egg itself. Nice. It'd be perfect for you. From, from the look, you can see that little difference in the texture mm -hmm. one time. The feel is amazing. This feels like the way I like my eggs. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Perfect, right? That's right. So well done, I'm perfect. Right, Sonny, so let's finish up this. Oh, this is what we're talking about. And it looks good, it smells good. And, and, and it's different for me, first time ever. Shashuka! Shashuka. Shashuka! And we have our garlic bread, or extra garlic bread. I want to go with extra garlic bread. What do we do now to really finish this dish and really bring the pop into it that says Father's Day? Right. So we're going to sprinkle or dot some dashes of the chili infused oil. All right. So you can go ahead that. So you spread it around. The Caribbean people. And we love a little cake. That's good. Yeah, that's fine. All right, fantastic. Right. You're looking I, good. And you know we treat it. Yeah. So you add in a little bandana and pasta mix like we did on the garlic bread. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hold on, chef. Hold on, chef. I taught you better than that, chef. Step your game up. Put the elbows in it, man. If you don't touch the elbow yet. Oh, my God. Look at all my... <laughs> I'm so proud of you. And now you're going to add some feta cheese. Ooh. Right? So it's a sharp, salty taste. Right? We'll add perfectly to the dish. Oh, I thought this was a carnival Monday and Tuesday. <laughs> cheese now. I say feta cheese. You did say feta cheese. You know, sorry about that. Let's just move on, guys. You know how it goes. <laughs> All right. Oh, you're placing the cheese. Mm -hmm. I, I love this. Look at this. this. This one goes from zero to 100. This was zero to 100, looks mm -hmm. like. That's right. You're really, really taking it up a little notch here right now. We have Chef Mike on the inside. Of course, remember, this is the cook up. Check it out www.cgacaribbean.com. Of course, on Facebook, Instagram. TikTok and of course YouTube. Check it out, like, share, share with your friends and family. Try something different as well too. And this is more as well. This is the finished product right That's here. It. This is it right here. Yep. Enjoy. So, so how we name this whole thing? Shashuka mm -hmm. and garlic bread. bread. So chef, my hands are washed and it's time to dig in. But before that, I really want to thank you so much for being with us That's here. Thank you very much, The channel, the cook up. Mm -hmm. Let us know how do we find you? Instagram, social media. Tell us. Well, my name on social media is Michael Chonkyo or Instagram Chunky24. Oh wow, Chunkyo, Chunky24. Yeah. I love what you did there. I can see that. Folks, and for us, www.cgacaribbean.com. Or you can also follow CGA Caribbean on Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, and check out some of our episodes on YouTube as well. Like, share it, try it with your friends, even your family, make it a fun experience for all. Alright? Now folks, time for us to dig in to the masterpiece right here. Shashuka! That's right, Shashuka! Come, come, chef, I want to follow your lead. I want to know how we dig digging into this pot and really getting into this. You show me. Bread and the... Come, you do it together. Yeah, do, do it together. together. So, do I, together. So, I, so I'm a bread and honey right now. And we literally going to go straight it's into it. it. Now, you got to go first. I need to see you do this. Oh, wow, 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 wow. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, wow. 
Mm, cheers. 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 Uh. Right, so again, we need infused oils, again, the marigold and the bread. The chili. Everything, the chili, everything just works perfectly, right? Mmm. 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 Mmm.